Don't know how long I sat strapped to that chair. At least a couple of hours. Finally, the bag was removed, and this brute of a man stood in front of me. He had to be seven feet tall and 400 pounds. He told me that he was going to beat me. And if I wanted him to stop, I'd have to do it mentally, with my mind. Then he punched me in the face. Released from the infirmary. Initial assignment is installing and configuring satellite dishes across Empire City. When I asked what they planned on doing with the dishes, I was told to mind my own business. Because the dishes are relatively isolated and secure, I'll use them for my dead drops. For the first 30 minutes or so of the beating, he focused on my midsection, hitting me square on the ribs. I tried to play along and squinted my eyes and gave him looks, trying to make it look like I was really doing something with my mind, but I just made him laugh. After landing three straight blows to my head, he bent over and told me to focus, to shape my thoughts and make them real. And if I couldn't do it, he was going to beat me to death. Then he punched me so damn hard, I blacked out. Kept in the infirmary for several days. Had my own room, and other than a nurse, didn't see anyone. I tested the door five times, and it was always locked. Checked the IV, and they had me on a steady dose of dolaphine. So much for their healing abilities. Was introduced to Kessler today. There's some kind of metal device attached to his right arm, and his face is scarred, probably the result of an accident. One of the other guards told me that Kessler has been the leader of the First Sons for decades, but that he vanishes for long periods of time. Initial impression is that Kessler is a true believer. He has an agenda, and he's going to carry it out. We may have to move against him sooner than we had initially planned. 